And a very good afternoon to you all, dear campers. My name is Paul Hughes. I am the Lord of Leisure, and welcome to a yet another live stream in as many as uh, recent days. Um, I hope you're doing all well. Uh, I know it's a rather odd time of day uh, to be doing this type of thing, but unfortunately, you know, times money, times up money by ten, and I still don't have any money. And um, today, I figured. Again, trying to keep uh, it things more interesting, uh, keep it away from Hearthstone as, almost as much as I, I can do. I basically think of this as weaning myself off the game and just going on to some other digital crack cocaine later this month. <coughs> XCOM 2. But I decided to have a look at a game that frankly raised a few questions in my own little tiny, tiny brain. Undertale was released uh, towards the end of... Well, actually, it was released in September last year, strictly speaking, and a lot of people, namely critics and some others that apparently followed them, said it was absolutely fantastic, oh my god, you'll never play anything better ever, and what have you. Now, unfortunately, I'm one of those cynical little bastards on the internet that uh, raises the magic eyebrow of suspicion whenever something like this occurs. And given the fact that this is the time of year where it's Oscar bait season, i.e. all the films that want to win shiny shiny BAFTAs or Oscars come out, or probably both, yeah, my cynicism is at an all-time high. So without any further ado, let's go on to Undertale. Now, this is going to be spoiler-filled because this is very much a story-driven um, role-playing game uh, that looks like it was coded on a ZX Spectrum uh, 81 probably done back in 1981 so it's yeah it, it already the, if you've got like a, a GTX 980 Ti or something you can instantly feel that the, uh, spending 500 quid plus on a graphics card is instantly worth your money on this <laughs> like I do of course so here we are lovely 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 I kept out the instructions um, and hopefully you can hear the noise now it's this is as this is as, uh, well, retro as you're going to get. Probably in the same vein as many others, like Shovel Knight and so forth, are going to come out. So if you're not going to like this kind of style, meh. You know, it's going to be a bit a bit rubbish. I, I do appreciate that. And, uh... <laughs> and uh, hello to everyone on the chat as well. Uh, no, I'm not drinking beer. I'm drinking tea. You know, it's Saturday afternoon. I have to maintain some prim and proper proportions. And besides, I leave the drinking for the Hearthstone Happy Hour. Hmm. Much is in the name of it. So, what we're presented with at the very beginning, the, we're just going to go through it and see exactly what this, uh, what happens. Um, I'm probably going to do some of the voices because uh, I get bored very easily. We're going to start off by calling our hero something. The fallen human. Effectively, the story behind this is that a human... Well, judging from the, the pictures that came up earlier, uh, fell over some spaghetti, then into a hole, and then you're in the underworld. Because of reasons. So, let's call our human... Jeff. We're going to have Jeff. No, 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 hang on. Backspace, backspace, yes. I'm having to use the arrows keys for this. Oh, hang on. Live stream is voted for Hugo. Okay, we are going to call uh, our fallen human Hugo by popular demand of one person. <laughs> Never let it not be said that I do not give the people what they want or person what they want. There you go. Hugo is go. There you go. Is this name correct? Hugo. It is Hugo. And by, by the looks of it, Hugo was suffering from Parkinson's just uh, now, the way he was shaking. So here we are, and I suspect this is this is Hugo, and this is Undertale. And I, I noticed the mouse is on the screen, sorry about that. I'm actually playing this in a, in a window. It basically, instead of full screen, it's in a tiny, tiny window on the desktop, it, and it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> So here we are, nothing on too pleasant so far, we just walk around. It's with uh, the arrow keys, just left, right, and all, all the rest of it. Look, wee, wee, this is Undertale. Aren't you so glad you're watching Undertale? <laughs> and it's a lovely... Harvey, I'm Flowery, Flower the Flower. Hello, Flowery the Flower. 
We're people on Twitch wondering what the hell this game's about. Hmm. Anything more? Anything more from him? Oh, right, okay, we have to keep pressing enter to progress the thing forward. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I don't know where the twang, the American twang's coming from. I'm just, I'm just adding it in just to keep it going. This is entertainment. It's probably still better than watching BBC Two right now. I guess little old me will have to do. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. And we have a little heart on the screen. Oh, see that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Uh, okay. That, that and apparently it floats around the box. <laughs> Lemon Tree Man on the stream is asking, where are the Germans? Well, they're probably at home playing Undertale as well, because obviously we're not going to infer any lies, treachery, or deceit. That's for Jeremy Clarkson on the new Amazon show to do. Your soul starts off weak, but can go strong if you gain a lot of LV. LV. Didn't they do car insurance? Okay, well, uh, apparently we need the car insurance premium. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course! Oh, fuck it out. <laughs> I take back what I just said previously. You might be better off actually watching BBC Two. You want some love, don't you? No, I'm a bitter husk of a human being, mate. You're best off not giving me any love. Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Is there some law against uh, flowery love? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the dodgy little wink there. Down here, love is shared through dot dot dot. <laughs> little white friendliness petals. <laughs> A warning to everyone watching this that some scenes may not be suitable for young children. <laughs> Are you ready for your for little love petals? Wink, wink, casual nod. Move around, get as many as you can. And then the the, the flower goes. You idiot! <laughs> it has to be the same voice. You idiot! In this world, it's kill or be killed. <laughs> Shall, shall I actually go? I, okay, we're going to change the voice now. Why would anyone pass an opportunity like this? <laughs> no, that sounds like he's having a seizure. Flowery the Flower is having a seizure. Actually, given the way that the, the text is moving and so forth, yes, you could actually agree with that. And, and... Die! In a rather lovely font. And... Uh, okay... So, okay, so that didn't work, and, and the flower just got hit by a fireball, and who the hell is this goat bastard? <laughs> what is going on? What a terrible creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll give him a normal, we'll give the goat bastard a, um, a normal voicing as he just saved us from um, flowery love. And, uh, oh, uh, people are asking, how do you kill on the live, uh, uh, on the, this game? I honestly don't know. This is the very first time we're playing for this, so I have no idea. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Dorel, caretaker of the ruins. And apparently those are important points because they're in different colors. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. Ah, you go fall down. Hugo's sad face. You are the first human to come here in a long time. As opposed to every other critic on the internet and YouTuber and everything else. No, aside from them, you're the first human. Yeah, alright. Come! I will guide you through the catacombs! This way! And uh, 
Jesus Christ, the goat now looks even worse. <laughs> okay, so we're just going forward. So far, so good. And we're going through another doorway. Now, I guess we just keep following Goaty, and there's a. There's a. Two. There's. There's a. Star, I guess? I don't know. Okay, just keep going. Welcome to your new home, Innocent One! Allow me to educate you in the op operation of the ruins! This is where my reading of English goes out the window, mind you. That assumes I have any education. Right, okay, so it's a, it's a first little puzzle. The ruins are full of puzzles! Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room! Uh, one question. Why? Well, did people not have Netflix? I have no idea. <laughs> Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. I am now adjusted. <coughs> um. Okay. So. No, just. I'm just gonna walk over everything, screw it. Oh, there's something on the wall there. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. There's only one road on the screen. I don't know. To make progress here, you'll need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labelled the ones you need to flip. <laughs> ah, uh, apparently the switches uh, down below are primitive remote control. That's what I've just been told by uh, Lemon Tree Man on the live stream. So obviously that makes it all alright then. <sighs> so, Goatee McGoatton, Goatee McGoat. Uh, is has wandered off and we're in a lovely little uh, playground let's just have a look at the signs around press Z to read signs I'm not I'm actually pressing enter so already the game is lying to me <laughs> we will now press Z stay on the path thanks for that sign can, can we climb up any of these no okay going across a lovely bridge ah look a handily Written switch. Let's let's see. Press, please press this switch, Torel. Ah, but it's not in uh, different color letters, so we know that's not an important uh, thing. Okay, so we've done that. Now let's let's wander along. And there's an extra switch. And for some reason, I have the instinct of wanted to do that one. But no, for the purposes of appearance, I'm going to do that. Splendid! I'm proud of you, little one. Little Hugo. Let us move to the next room, little Hugo! Seriously, actually, look at his face! Is he suffering from jaundice or something? Good God, Hugo. I think you may need to see the doctor, mate. So, as a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you! As Flowery the, the flower wanted to do and inflict his love on you. Uh, uh, uh. You will need to be prepared for the situation! And I do believe we're about to answer Lemon Tree Man's um, question about um, where do you fight people. Uh, this is probably going to be how it is. Given that this is an RPG, it's going to probably be the turn-based malarkey that this is all clearly going to, yeah, uh, going to be. However, worry not. The process is simple. I know. I'm wittering on as well. I'm, 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 I'm going to power through this. We're going to power through this, ladies and gentlemen. So when you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight! You have to say it like that because obviously it's in capital letters and obviously you can't just say it calmly. We've established this by when people shout at each other on Tumblr and um, all those other lovely things. When you're in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Oh, okay. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Oh, right. So in essence, just you just talk your way out of it. Oh, well, that's actually quite novel. Probably will upset Lemon Tree Man watching this, but you know, let's let's have let's have a chat with the dummy. But I don't want to chat to the dummy. Silence! You will go chat with the dummy now. Okay. <laughs> you encountered the dummy in, for some inexplicable reason, a grid. 
<laughs> and we have several things actually that are showing up. We've got fight. Uh, in case you're wondering, fight, I'm obscuring here in this little window, unfortunately. Then you've got act, item, mercy. Okay? So I guess... Let, let's act. Let's let's act with the dummy. I don't know what difference it will be. Let, let's, let's talk with the dummy. I talk to the dummy. I feel like a dummy talking to the dummy. And probably those dot dot dots are pro probably indicating that. <laughs> the dummy doesn't seem much a conversation. Well, never mind. Later we'll have tea while we're doing it as well. Tor Torrell seems happy with you. But it's again not a an important plot point because obviously it's just uh, in capital letters as opposed to uh, any other colours. So. We won! We got nothing out of that whatsoever. And apparently that is the fighting mechanic. Or talking mechanic. I, I don't know, actually. Ah, very good! You are very good! Okay. Okay, let's keep going. There is another puzzle in this room! Oh, heaven help us. I wonder if you can solve it! Well, to be perfectly frank, we're on the internet. If we were really stuck, we could probably just look at it online, you know, because you know, we're not actually going to be using our brains much anymore. We're dead inside. Okay, so Goatee is right there, and we follow him. We've using Hugo. Oh, hello! Froghead attacks you! Why? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to try this talking mechanic. Froggy didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Okay, we're, we're just let, let's be complimentary. Um, and. <laughs> point of that? Genuinely, what was the point of that? <laughs> okay, next time we will be fighting because we, we've got to do something. I mean, that that was that was nothing. Let's read this on the, on the wall here. The Western Room is the Eastern Room's blueprint. So important they wrote it on the wall. <laughs> okay. There's there's nothing bad that's going to happen here. Uh, okay. So, the western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Okay, let's just... The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Well, if that's the case... Do we just go back the way we came, then? It's so good that it's absolutely clear what you're supposed to do. There is another puzzle and I wonder if you can solve it. Well, yeah, and then we just go along. Are we going to encounter Froggy again? No, we're absolutely stuck. Right. Okay, so. We have our first puzzle. The Western Room is the Eastern Room's blueprint. I wonder basically if this just means then that how we traverse the spikes is basically we go up and down all the way along and we reach the end. How you're supposed to remember that is a very good question. We also cannot get past. Oh, hello, this is the puzzle, but. Oh, we were supposed to talk to the bloody thing! God damn it, Goatly! <laughs> Take my hand! Thank you, Goatly! Yay! Look! And it is the blueprint! No explanation why these spikes are going and then coming back behind us, but yay! Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Well, okay. It's all very much. I mean, look, to be fair, Hugo is suffering from jaundice, so, you know, he's not long for this world. You have done excellently thus far, my child! However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. Can you help me with my homework? 
<laughs> I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Uh, okay. Walk into the end of the room. Walk into the end of the room. Walk into the end of the room. The room seems ridiculously long. Almost as if it's repeating. In fact, it does appear to be repeating. Oh no, we've had something else there that turns up. Look, yay! Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. <laughs> Utterly pointless. <laughs> I was merely behind this pillar behind... Okay, who exactly was this aimed at? Thank you for trusting me. No worries, Goatly. We trust you all the time. Ooh! However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. That's a big word for a lovely goat. <laughs> I must attend to some business and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a... S CELL PHONE! Because apparently a CELL PHONE is important enough to shout it. <laughs> because... Also, bear in mind, I, do, I must admit, I do like that. Screw it, you can just have a phone while you're in the underworld. <laughs> let, let, and we'll call Goatly afterwards. Why not? So we have ourselves a cell phone. And we're going to keep wandering because I'm not that bored. Oh, hello. Hello, this is Toriel! <laughs> you have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Click. Well, he doesn't look very happy. Let's go and have a chat with Rev Frogly. Ribbit Ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice to you about battling monsters. I don't know why F Froggy, Froggity, Ribbity, whoever the fuck he's supposed to be is talking like that. Screw it. I never proclaimed to say I had a natural range of uh, impressions or voices. I don't care. <laughs> if you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. Yes, that that, that sounds right. Okay, that that's good advice, uh, Froggy. Mc we'll call him John Goodman. It's fine. If a monster does not want to fight you, please. Use some mercy, human ribbit. <laughs> okay, and there's the little starry thing again. Plain fling crickling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. And okay, apparently. Okay, are those save points? <laughs> okay. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> because... Oh, hello! Froggit hopped close. Now, I did promise we were going to fight here. I did. Right, okay, so it's it's going to be like a wiggly thing that goes along. The battlefield is filled with the smell of mustard seed! Because of reasons. So frog it. Let's hit him. Yeah! Croak, croak! Oh, we're supposed to avoid those the moths. Right, okay. Frog it is trying to run away. We're gonna show mercy to Frog it after he did tell us. Yay! We won gold! And why does Frog it look like he's got a pair of testicles underneath him? Look, he's got arms. And then you see there, look, there's a couple of little balls, and it looks like an unhappy face underneath his legs. What's going on? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, so we won against Froggy. Oh no! We fell down into something. 
and instantly got back up. Okay, well, uh, well, that's fair enough. We just literally go across. Oh, hello! Wimson approached meekly. Oh, look at him. He, he looks kind of sad and flappy. Wimson. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Let, let's console him. <laughs> How utterly pointless was that? <laughs> so far, um, I, 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 I must confess, this game is kind of making uh, my mind up already about uh, this. It's, it's kind of. Alright, maybe if I was utterly bored and didn't have a Steam library of 600 games already. But I do. Hello, this is Toriel! For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Well, cinnamon, obviously. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Click. Pointless. <laughs> Hello, this is Toriel! You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you like to, would you turn your nose up if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient. By the way, click. Okay, we're going to move a little bit more, and then I bet you the phone goes off. The phone did not go off. Oh, hello! But, Wimson... Uh, Wimson's back?! Oh, for fuck's sake, Wimson! Right, fuck it, I'm going to fight him. There! Sorry, I had enough of him. No, there's no room for a mercy with me from them. He had his chance, tried to console him, he just wasted my time. Go away. Right, so let's look at the thing on the wall. Three out of four grey rocks recommend you push them. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Right, okay, so let's push that there. Oh look, the thing's gone. Yay, puzzle solved. And look, it's another thing where we fall through. Okay. Ah, Emerald leaves, yay! And let's just read this. Please do not step on the leaves. Oh. Why? Froggit and Wimson drew near! Okay, so now we have to fight two people at once in a grid because of reasons. And. And look! Hang on, Froggit! Look! His bollocks are actually blinking at me! That... Oh, that filthy bugger! Let's check him. Life is difficult for this enemy. Right, okay. Hop, hop, I have no choice. Froggit hops to and fro. Uh, okay. Halfway through your first word, Wimson burns to tears and run away. Okay, hop hop. Right, okay, we just move the heart around, avoiding the, 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 the love beads. The battlefield is filled with the smell of mustard seed. Okay, so... Let, 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 let... Blush is dippily, ribbit, ribbit. Have we just tried it on with the frog? I don't know. Frog, it seems reluctant to fight you. Okay, mercy. Yay, we got two gold out of there. This is these these random fight things are actually starting to. I I gotta be honest, starting to annoy more than anything else. See, as we can't go over there, let's just go back to where we found Froggy all the way. 
All the way through. Oh, and another fucking... <sighs> Go on. Piss off, you whiny little bastard. So far, I'm absolutely seeing what people uh, saw in this. What so I, I really am. I have no idea what, though. And obviously, we'll fall through the thing there. Uh, and then we just come out over here. And oh, for fuck's sake! Frog it, you're being an asshole now. Right, that's it. Miss! Oh no! And then we just like move the little heart around. Frog it hops to and fro, fight. Yep, hop hop. Right, and just move the little heart around. Move the heart around. The battlefield is filled with the smell of mustard seed again! There you go. Almost killed Frog here. Yeah! Well, that's what you get for constantly annoying me, you little piss pot. Right, we're gonna go through. Oh! There. That's it. I'm just pissed off with these people now. Right. Yay! Look, there's something. Take a piece of candy. Yes. You took a piece of candy. Press C to open a menu. Okay. Oh, press C. Alright, item? Monster candy. Let's have the information about it. Okay. Heels. Right, okay. No worries. Oh, apparently. Ah, right. I'm going to need this. Yes. You took more candy. How disgusting. Well, no. It's now this is rather interesting. There is the menu, much in like other older RPGs, where you can like use stuff. So we're gonna use one. Very unliquorish line. Your HP was maxed out. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. And by the looks of it, ah. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Bye bye. At least that's a thing to do. Right, let's just go all the way back along this long ass room. Because the thing is, we'll just keep falling down over and over and over again for that bloody uh, floor. I don't see what the point of that would be. This is gripping entertainment, isn't it not? This is, this is, um... By the way, just to give you a little bit of behind the game while we're wandering down the corridor. This was written, designed, and composed by one bloke. Oh, yeah, I can't remember what the thing is for that way. Okay. Uh, it was done, this was done by Toby Fox with uh, one other person providing some designs for everything. So in essence, this is one person's work with one slight help, you know, from, from someone else, gotta be fair. And, well, the fact that uh, they got a full game released on Steam and I've got everyone going apeshit for it, fair enough. I gotta be honest, that, you know, that is still a pretty bloody good thing to do. Even in this day and age. You know, it, it, there's very few one-man operations or whatever. Oh, yes, yes, we'll go back, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. And those are already on the thing. Couple of... Ah. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go away. You annoying sack of shit. We'll just fall down, and then we'll walk on the grass. We'll walk on the leaves. La la la, on the leaves, on the leaves, on the leaves, on the leaves, on the leaves. There you go. And who is it this time? It's both of them. So mercy on both. Oh, but Froggit wants to fight! The battlefield is filled with... SHUT UP! Fine. Croak, croak. And we move our little thing down. The mechanics are... Look, for the, the, for the game, the mechanics are simple enough, but I'm already starting to get annoyed with this thing. And I'm just hitting enter for that when uh, the thing goes over, and that's it. And my love apparently is increased! Yay! 
Okay, so what, we fall down here again? No! And again, same thing. No! I, I may be missing the point of this altogether, this game. But so far, it's... It's kind of... Oh, hello! We got someone else! Finally! Something new! And it's a, it's a pulsating jelly. Um... Okay, let's have a chat. Okay, hang on. There is a flirt option. Let's, instead of chatting, we're gonna flirt with the jelly. What a meaningful conversation! <laughs> Slime sounds. Uh, oh, right, and it's a fireworks display now. Wakes pensively. Uh, okay. You lie mobile. You feel like you understand the world a little bit. Okay, so we, right, basically hide from the things exploding. <sighs> okay, so we'll fight him and press enter in the middle. Squaw! Right, and it's just, it's, oh, it's, <laughs> okay. So basically, for this, we just fight the jelly. That That's lovely. We won! And now what? Right, okay, so what we'll do, I bet you what this is, we go down, La 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 la, but then we do not walk, oh, but we do, we land on the bloody leaves in the first place. Okay, so let's walk on the leaves, or not walk on the leaves. Oh, fuck off, Wimson. Annoying sack of shit. As you can tell, my tone has started off, it was starting off all jovial and everything, and now I'm just getting annoyed with this thing. Now what? Oh, fuck it. Walk on the leaves, then. Well, you can't really step... You can't really avoid them uh, too much when you're doing this in the first place. So, in essence, we cannot go any further this... W oh, hello! Oh, unfortunately, it's one... It just... Yeah, okay. Just worked it out. The, the way that uh, it's saying don't step on the leaves, that, that basically showing you the path all the way around from up above. Yeah, okay. Ugh, it took me long enough to actually figure it out. Yeah. But a pair of froggits now hop towards you. Froggit A, Froggit B. Well, they're getting... Uh, they're getting... Uh, let's threaten them. Ribbit, ribbit, shiver, shiver. Right, okay, so we're getting more stuff in our little... What's it? Froggy doesn't know, seem to know why he's here. Okay. Yeah, shiver, 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 shiver. Shiver, shiver. Oh, no. We, we can't go back. Oh, there we go. Hang on. So what, we're supposed to just fight them or what? I mean... Oh, thank you. Yeah, we won. Yay. Right, so in essence, we've got to walk all the way down, then back up, then... Yeah, okay. And then probably fall down in this thing, have yet another bloody what's it. Right, so all the way down, bit up. And then down, and then all the way up, and then yay! There we go. And look, there's rocks to get across those things. And another random encounter. And, oh. Yeah, there you go. Escape. We're going to need to up our uh, health, so what we're going to do, we're going to eat more candy. Yay! And then we push the rocks there. I, I guess... 
Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Oh, well, thank you very much, darling. Hmm. You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? No, 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 no. You, 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 you're messing us around. Hmm. That was the wrong direction? Okay, I think I got it now. Yay! Thank you, Mr. Rock. Right. We're, we're, we're calling the goats, and apparently, this is good. This is Toriel! You're gonna be mom now. Huh? Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. Click. Oh, hello. Hmm. You wanted me to stay there! You're giving me a real workout! <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, look! It's a, it's a blinky save point. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole, gets its cheese, it fills you with determination. Now let's save. Okay, so... <laughs> this is... This is lovely. Let, let's just pick up the cheese. This been here is quite a long time. Sex and Sable. Right. Mouse! You in there? Mouse! Mouse! I'm pressing Z! Look! Let's, let's, let's look at Hugo. Hugo right now. I'm just pressing buttons, by the way. Because I don't know... Uh, yeah, we'll probably have to go to another room or so forth. But so far, Hugo has reached level 2. And... And he's got a weapon of a stick and armor, a bandage, and has 19 gold, and none of that makes any sense whatsoever, so who cares? Okay. Um. Can't actually get out of it. <laughs> Go on. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. X comes. Right. Okay. Z goes in. X comes out. Right. Jolly, jolly good. Oh dear, there's a Pac-Man uh, ghost on the on the floor. Okay. Are they gone yet? This ghost, keep, this ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to Zeep. Zeep? <laughs> Zeep! I've only had a bit of tea and I'm already can't I can't even say correct sentences. Oh bollocks, I can't even form sentences! This shows how much my uh, spirit is being zapped. Move it the force. Yes, no. Okay, that I guess you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. La 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 la. Yes, move it. Uh, let's move it the force. Come on, come on. Blah blah blah. Yes. <laughs> Namster block. Okay. Let, let's, uh... Uh... Okay... What the fuck is this?! <laughs> Looks just a bit better. Let, let's flirt with him. I'd just weigh you down. Not really feeling up to it now. Sorry! Uh, okay. Let let let's flirt with let's flirt with the ghost. Oh, right. So now he's just crying. So this monster basically is it is just is just feeling a little bit depressed. Oh no! And now it's the curly whirlies of death coming back to try and hurt my hurt me. Ah ha ha! Cheering seems to have moved Napster's block mood again. Okay, so let's just cheer Napster Blug. Ooh, Napster Blug wants to show you something. It's getting sexy. Oh yes. Let me try. I call it Dapper Blug. He's he's crying upwards. 
Okay, so we'll cheer it. Oh, gee. Are you... Okay, <clears throat> what voice are we going to go for the, the the monster with this? I know, obviously, I'm sorry for obscuring, obscuring the thing. All right. I usually come to the ruins because there's no one around. But today I met somebody nice. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. And the ghost disappears. Thank you. Oh, spider's web. So are we going to find some magic spiders? Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. <laughs> okay, I kind of like that one. Spiders! Are you in here? Oh, hello. Leave 18 gold in the web. Yes, no. Alright then. Hey! Some spiders crawled down and gave you a jug! We have a jug! Don't know what for, but we have a jug! And oh, fucking our froggy with the dysfunctional bollocks is back. Look, they're just moving from side to side! Uh, what's this gonna be about? Ooh, did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of sp of spiders. Ooh, rather nasty. Uh, there's a couple of fro. Okay, there's just an, there's just a whole corridor. Okay, ring ring. Uh, hello. I just realised it's been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying lying around here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might need to see something you really like. You might see... I can't... I Yeah, I, I should be reading properly. Okay, start again. Someday you might like something you, you, you really... Uh, might see something you really like. Come on, okay. Come on, Paul. Come on. This game might be draining your will to live, but still. You might want to leave room in your pockets for that. Okay, yes, let's just click. Thank you. Oh, and we've got the pulsating jelly and something? Okay, we're fighting against him. <laughs> okay, um, sexy wiggle. Modsol is ruminating. Okay, Modsol, we're going to flirt with Modsol. We're going to have it on with the pulsating jelly. Yeah, sexy wiggle. In unison now! And, yeah, this is lovely. The aroma of lime gelatin wafts through. Okay, miss up. I don't care. So, talking is not it, and... Oh, no. We're... Eh, ruminating. Uh, okay. Uh, come on, back, back, back. It seems evil, but it's just with the wrong cow. Obey the overmind. Okay, so we all you have to do is just go and kill the other fella. And we're gonna kill Motsit. In unison now. Right, I'm probably almost dead now, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah! Sexy Wiggle! Yeah, no way we're gonna avoid this. Oh! We, 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 we live. Yay! And I've got one thing left close to death. <sighs> well, what do I make of this game so far? It's... I would honestly say that this is not my cup of tea. Um, I've played far better RPGs, and I, it, well, the, the last RPG in this vein that I, I played, I have to be truthful with South Park the Stick of Truth, and I fucking love that. That was just absolutely hilarious. This is just... it's a slog, and as time goes on, I'm starting to get more and more annoyed, especially with the random uh, battles that just come along and so forth. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a sexy jelly and all the rest of it, jolly good, but... Okay! That's... 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 Grand, I guess? 
I need to go and get some health at some point. Um, I guess we have to fall through the floor to inevitably... Oh, for fuck's sake. Look, we got Mikey from Monsters, Inc. I mean, this this is one of the problems right here, actually. It's just this all the time. Um, you see, a couple. there was a couple of decent puzzles, I grant you. And this is uh, starting to get... Uh, please don't pick on me. Okay, well, that didn't work, so no mercy. Luck is staring right through you. No, I'll flee then. Well, I'm just going to escape, aren't I? Uh, that's the thing, am I just going to keep on just escaping and just can't be bothered uh, fighting the monsters? Oh look! There's, there's some... Um, there's a... Vegetoid came out of the earth. Let's just... Plants can talk dummy. But you just... You just talked! Oh, my heart is broken! And it's game over! You cannot give up just yet. I fucking can, right? Hugo! Stay determined! Nope. Nope. And we're back at the save point. Well, that, that at least uh, gives us that. Blah, blah, blah. And we're going to have to go against the ghost uh, again. I'm actually going to leave it there. I really am. Um... So, Undertale, done by Toby Fox, and who was the other person that actually did it? Uh, additional artwork by Temi Chang. I'm just reading this uh, on the uh, Steam page. Uh, it's available on Steam for £6.99, um, £6.99 or your regional equivalent. Would I go out of my way to play this after the live stream is finished? No, gotta be honest, no, I will not be touching this again. Um, cutie graphics, alright. Music? Yeah, got to be fair, it, it's it's okay, nice little thing, but the, uh, you know, if you were listening to that over and over again, would that really get on your nerves and make your ears bleed? And... The fact that random things come up too often, eh... Nah, 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 I, I, I... On this occasion, I've actually got the pox of it. It's nice that you can uh, chat to the monsters and, and so forth and try and do something a little bit different, but honestly... In all honesty, no. Um, it's a good little effort. Um, I've more laughed at some of the ridiculousness of it rather than any jokes that it attempted to per uh, perpetrate. But then again, it could be just my sense of humour and so forth. And maybe this is not showing the game fully in, it, in its lovely light. But as it stands right now, I, I honestly wouldn't say that going f uh, and getting Undertale is going to fill your life with meaning and, and so forth like others. Others, you know, have certainly got their uh, money's worth out of it. I mean, £6.99 for something that's uh, that apparently has got everyone going, Woo! Over it? Yeah, okay. Um, I guess. <laughs> I, I honestly guess. If that if this floats your boat, by all means, all power to you. Unfortunately, it really doesn't uh, float my boat altogether. All and frankly... This is probably what I'm going to go and play next. Because apparently this is this is not half bad, by all accounts. So we will see what it is. And then judge it badly anyway. Never mind. Anyway, campers, that's all it is for this live stream. I know it's going to be a little bit brief in comparison to uh, others, but not to worry. Thank you very much to those on the live stream uh, who joined us to see what exactly Undertale was all about. And to see what the hype was. Um, obviously, all the links down here, you can see, uh, catch up with more at sometimes.com, see stuff on Twitch whenever you're bored, uh, check out the YouTube channel for all sorts of other crap, and of course, look at uh, anything that I retweet on uh, Twitter, if you're absolutely bored. So for now, campus, I'm going to go and have lunch, and then play until dawn, but until next time, 